Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to do my December book haul. Yes, I am aware that I did another book haul in December which was the books I got for Christmas. I even have some books I got for Christmas here because I didn't receive them until like after Christmas which is fine but yeah that makes this book haul even more bigger than it was. Let's just get started. <laughs> I'm gonna start with I actually didn't buy in December but I got them in December and that was all the books I bought for Black Friday so the first one that I got here is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas which is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series I only read the two first ones but you know I love the second ones I just you know it was Black Friday so I got the fourth one I also got Empire of Storms this is the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series so now I have all the books the next book I got for uh, Black Friday was Rebel of the Sands by Alvin Hamilton uh, which I know is like a fantasy set in the desert I think and the cover is beautiful and I know the second book is coming out soon so I was really interested in checking it out after I heard about it the next book I had for the Black Friday haul was Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Barnard. I know it is a contemporary but I don't know exactly what it is about because who knows what all these books are about, huh? <laughs> the next book I then have is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This one I've been wanting to get for a long time. I know that this book is about a girl who is allergic to everything, everything. Uh, around her and she hasn't left her house in almost her all her life and then a boy moves in next door and she starts to like him and then it escalates from there. The next one I have is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I heard a couple things about it and I saw it and I know that there's a girl who falls in love with a boy next door basically or something. Let's see what it got to offer. Like it's just the most typical uh, contemporary plot you can have but you know it can always be a twist to it and because stories like this are just sometimes adorable and sometimes really annoying so we will see which one it is. The next one I have is also a contemporary and that is The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson. I know that this one is about a trans person that Dave Damon longs to be a girl and Leo wants to be invisible and then these two people become friends and I just really basically wanted to read this because I heard there was a trans person in it and I want to read more about that because well diversity I hope it is good the next one I have for the Black Friday haul was The Shadow Queen by CG Redvine I know that this is a Snow White retelling it says mirror mirror on it and it's just like the Wee Queen and Hunter that's the thing why I'm getting for if it's not a Snow White retelling shoot me I'm not a retelling but based on it it's not it's not what they're retelling is the next book I don't have is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris and uh, this one is also <laughs> a contemporary and it's about these two people Jack and Grace that are married and then um, they like seem like a really happy and perfect couple but behind the scenes it's something else so I'm guessing this is not really a happy marriage maybe an abusive one and maybe at least a really unhealthy relationship but uh, I heard really really good things about it and I'm so curious and I love like dark things in a relationship because I'm a creep so I was intrigued and I wanted this. The next book I have here is actually a book I bought in November but I didn't get it until December because it was really really late. I even got two copies so that happened. That is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find It by G.K. Rowling. I was supposed to be in my other book haul but now it is here and I already read it. I really enjoyed it. You can hear more about that in my December wrap up. Now I was thinking we could go over to the book I bought myself this month and then we'll take the gifts in the end. The next book we have here is also a contemporary which is I Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. Evie wants to be normal and then she goes to college and then things happen and we'll see how it goes as an always a series and I just I just it really fascinated me so I'm glad I have it now. The next book I have here is a new region book and it also won the it won the bookseller's prize here in Norway and that is Ave Milieu by Vigdus Jort. We would translate that to inheritance um something else. I can't think right now so I will just add it as a text 
under here right now if you really want to translate it. Basically, it is a novel about the, this family. They are gonna like inherit things or both the parents die and then there's like secrets and the past comes up again. And the first thing actually before we won the bookseller's prize, I saw it in the store where I work and I saw how beautiful this cover was and I thought I read behind it and I thought it was fascinating and read some reviews, thought it looked really good. I am definitely fa beyond fascinated about this and I'm sure gonna read it soon. It also have like this nicest feel to it ever. Norwegian books are like so nice. Yeah. The next book I have here is Calamity. Is that how you say it? Whatever. By Brandon Sanderson. It's the third book in the Reckoner series. I have just read the first one but now I have the whole series and it came out in the height that I want them in and I just bought it and I love Brandon Sanderson and yeah. I have some more Brandon Sanderson in this haul because he is the best! Yay! If you don't know, The Reckoners is a series about people who got superpowers and then they turn super evil basically and it's about David who wants to avenge his father and he wants to kill, kill, kill this super evil guy named Steelheart and that is what the first book is about so you should definitely check it out. It was a lot of fun. It is his young adult series as well so it's not as heavy as his other series. The next book I have here is The Final Empire by Brandon Anderson. This is the 10th anniversary edition and it is beautiful! I just love it so much! I love it! I wanted it and I have it and it was worth it! Can we appreciate this? Yes we can! The next manga uh, or book we have is Tokyo Ghoul Volume 3. I recently bought Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1 and 2 and I read the first one and I also watched the anime and I loved it so here is number three as I can continue on the series. It is about ghouls that look like people but they are not. They have super cool powers and they eat human flesh and our main character can... Yes! I remember his name! <laughs> uh, becomes half ghoul and thinks just shits after that. It's, it's so cool and amazing and you should definitely check it out. The next book we have here is The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett. Pratchett? Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't know. Uh, if you haven't heard about Terry, then you can just go away. I even have heard about Ter Terry and I haven't read any of his books yet, which is why I bought this one. Uh, I don't know, I know there's different ways in order to read his books, but I googled this world reading order on the Google and it came to his official website where the, this book was the first one and I was like all the books in which reading order you should read them in, so I'm just following that one. I technically don't know what this is, is about but it is the first one in a Discworld series which is like of 40 books. I decided to buy these editions uh, because they were not that expensive considering they are in hardcover and that they are the, uh, the Unseen University collection and I read on the website that they're gonna continue this uh, collection so I was thinking that you know even though there are only half of the books out in these editions I can totally buy them because there's like over 20 of them out and I'm not gonna be able uh, like yeah it's gonna take a while that's my point and these editions are just so pretty and also the books aren't that thick so I appreciate that let's see when I get to this I definitely want to read it in 2017 the next book I have is Malice by John Gwynn... 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 I was in the bookstore with my best friend and I couldn't decide which book I wanted to buy so I was just like, can you pick one? And I just saw the third book in this series and she was like, that one! And then the other two was there too and I was just like, I'm guessing that that is not the first one because that one is in hardcover and the other one in paperback and you always come in hardcover first, whatever. The point was... I just chose this one, ish, <laughs> and that's why I bought it. And it is a fantasy novel. I don't know what it's about. I read reviews, and they say that it is great. It looks cool. It is really thick with really small letters. When I'm gonna get to this, I have no idea, but I am have feeling that it's gonna be a really good ride, cause I'm always like. I want to open my eyes to just more and more books and even I hadn't actually heard about this before going into the bookstore and buying it and I always find that refreshing and really exciting going into the book that I haven't heard about it before I bought it which I think is cool. The next book I have is To All The Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han and I heard a lot about these books. It is 
a contemporary romance, I think. I am, I don't know, there's this, as I said, these kinds of books can go either one way or the another way and let's see which way this one goes. But I am definitely up for a fluffy and nice read someday. The next book I have is Rota by Sifi Patterson, which is the second book in the Raven Ring series. It's a Norwegian high fantasy series. Rota can mean rotten can translate things. I got the first one in this series which I already have for Christmas and now I have exchanged it with a second one which is why I'm showing it off in this book haul but I didn't actually pay for it so I don't understand why it is in this part of the haul considering that I was gonna show all the books that I bought myself and not the gifts but I did go into the store myself and exchanged it. Does that count? The next graphic novel I have <laughs> is White Sand by Brandon Sanderson. This is the graphic novel that he got out in 2016. It's gonna be three volumes and it is set in his crossmary world. I don't exactly know what it is about but I know that his magic system is similar like the others in the crossmary world and I want to read everything by him. And um, graphic novels. Thank you. Also, it looks so fun and I can't wait to read it. This was, just so you know, hecka expensive, but it was totally worth it. Should have bought it on the internet cheaper, but I didn't want to wait for it to arrive in the mail, so... Mm. The next manga we have here is Bingo Stray Dogs, the first volume which came out in December. I've seen the anime, surprise and I really want to read it and the first one came out now in English and I think uh, the next ones are gonna come out throughout this year so I think I'm gonna accumulate them we'll see and the next graphic novel I have is Saga Volume 1 I don't know what it's about but I just heard really good things about it it's a graphic novel and it looks so cool and I can't wait to start with it yay for the last few gifts that I got for Christmas the first book Actually, I got from work, they were just like, pick out a book. And I was just like, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> and that, I chose Mi Brilliante Venine by Elena Ferranta, which uh, I know it is in English. Uh, My Brilliant Friend, I think it's called, or something. It is originally in Italian, so I was thinking it doesn't really matter if I read it in English or Norwegian, because I'm not going to be able to read it in the original language anyway, so I'm just deciding to read them in a region apparently. It's also really cool that no one knows how the author or who the author is because she's a secret. And it's set in Italy and it follows basically the story of these two girls growing up and like into the adulthood and I know that one of the girls has disappeared in present time, that's all I know. And it has got so many raving reviews and there's so many people who likes them and I really really want to check it out. So this is the first one of a series of four books. The next two books Books I got from my my good friend. They are Kids of Appetite by David Arnold and Mosquito Land by David Arnold. They are both by the same author but not in the series. Technically I don't know what these are about but I know that they are contemporaries and that I really want to read them because when I heard about them, did it just say read it? I did just say read it. Uh, when I heard about them I really wanted to check them out so now I have both of them and I can read them and enjoy them and be happy. Yay! The next one I have <laughs> is Stubus Astai by Gurion Stolzen, which is a Norwegian crime novel. You can translate Stubus Astai to Big Sister. It is the 20th in this series. It's been published since 1977 or something. He is a classic in a way. Everyone knows who this author and who this character Vagveum is, which he is also from my city, which is great. I got to meet him. My sister bought it for me. She got it signed for me and I'm just like, yay! I don't have read any of these, which is totally, totally ridiculous considering he's from my city and everyone has heard about him. But I can't find the first book in print and I want to read them in order as they were published, which is, I know, ridiculous because people say you can read them out of order, but I just hate that. Uh, but it's out of print, so <clears throat> I need to wait until it's in print again. But at least I have the last one in the series, you know, that's helpful. <laughs> the next books I have is from another friend and that is Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover and This Girl by Colleen Hoover. Now I have the whole Slam trilogy, so I am ready to start it. When I'm gonna start it, who knows? These are contemporaries, romance novels. 
heard so many th mixed things about Colleen Hoover, but I will give her a chance and I will probably read all her books, even if I don't like these ones, because... And then we have Lola and the Bone Next Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. These are the second and the third book in Anna and the French Kiss trilogy. I read Anna and the French Kiss and now I can read the rest of the series, finally. And also these are like so nice to touch. It's a uh, contemporary romance novels, both of them, and they are cute and fluffy and yeah. Okay. And the last book I have here is The Raven King by Maggie Stewart. This is the fourth book in the Raven cycle. Yes! And um, I have the whole series now, which is great. But I haven't started it yet. But I will, and it's gonna be awesome. And yeah, me. Thank you so much for watching. Wish me good luck on the thumbnail right now. And you will see me soon in a new video. And I have a book buying problem. Please tell me down below if you read any of these books and how what you thought about them or what books you bought in December. Bye!